blessed solemnity of the Assumption of Mary as part of the Dominican family celebrating in grateful remembrance of St. Dominic's passing to eternal life, we continue his devotion to the Blessed Mother who keeps the order under her mantle of love and care. The Blessed Virgin Mary is the model of the Church. She was the first who received the Word of God into her very self through the unmerited grace of the Holy Spirit. She unwaveringly said yes to God each step of the way. It was in this total self-offering that she gave that word to the world. In the tradition of the Church, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary is also referred to as the Dormition of the Theotokos, or the Sleeping of the Mother of God. Within the Church, there are two schools of thought. That of the Franciscans who say that Mama Mary did not die but only fell into deep slumber and was taken up into heaven. The other school of thought, the Dominicans, believe that our mother Mary died but was taken up to heaven in both body and soul. Their premise is that if our Lord Jesus himself died, then why can't our Blessed Mother? What is important about this is that Our Lady was assumed or taken up into heaven in both body and soul. She is the only human being after our Lord Jesus to be given this privilege by God because she was conceived without original sin. Therefore, both her body and soul will not suffer corruption. For us, who inherited the original sin, we may not be able to bring our physical body to heaven, but as followers of the Lord, we can attain everlasting life and the resurrection of our body in His second coming. From the words of Pope Benedict XVI, Only if God is great is humankind also great. With Mary, we must begin to understand that this is so. As St. Dominic exemplified, we Dominicans shall continue to draw inspiration from the Blessed Virgin, Mother of God. We remain in joyful hope as we contemplate on her beautiful example of fulfilling God's will in her life. We must not drift away from God but make God present. We must ensure that He is great in our lives. Thus we too will become divine. All the splendor of the divine dignity will then be ours. Let us apply this to our own lives.